Oasis KMIP is a standard for the um, transmission of encryption keys and security objects between clients and servers. In most cases, clients are storage devices or devices that would use keys, encryption keys, and the servers are the devices that would manage them. So it's a, uh, it's a protocol for ensuring that uh, the keys are uh, made available uh, reliably and quickly um, for encryption and decryption of data. It is having a very large effect on storage and interoperability as far as um, traditionally when you purchased a storage solution from a vendor, um, if you wanted to do encryption, you needed somewhere to put those encryption keys, so they would then sell you a key manager. In days gone by, uh, those key managers would communicate with storage appliances using a fairly proprietary protocol. What KMIP is doing is providing a standardised language with which those uh, pieces of the environment can talk such that you can purchase your storage equipment and your key management separately when you need to do data encryption and it also means you can pull together the encryption keys across your entire enterprise worth of storage and, and manage them as a, a single group under a uh, security area, perhaps your security admin can then get a full view of how those keys are being used, where they're stored, what their life cycle looks like and ensure that they are secured appropriately. We have seen quite a lot of change in the data storage security market, um, particularly as folks are moving from storage on-premise to storage in the cloud and then hybrid of those two things, um, and moving from traditional disk arrays to flash disk arrays, the data rates have gone up, the data volumes have gone up, our, our data volume just continues to really rapidly increase and as our security requirements are being placed on us from regulatory bodies, Encryption is generally the primary tool that we use to, to meet those regulatory requirements, which then means you do encryption, you need key management. And with the data rates that you can now get out of um, your SSD devices and throughput that you're able to obtain through cloud storage services, again, the key rates and the key volumes continue to increase. People are still not entirely comfortable with putting their encryption keys in the cloud. They might store their data there but you can't be to see so walking into a data centre on premise and saying that box there has my keys. So I think we'll see continued use of, uh, an increased use of cloud and hybrid cloud. Uh, we're seeing advances in, in uh, flash storage, particularly in, in the speed and capacity. But really it's, it's the sheer volume of data that things like IoT and Smart Grid are going to be bringing to the game that is going to, uh, to shape the industry and just we're creating more data every day that data rate is accelerating and we all like to have it secured. We need to have it secured, um, particularly from a compliance perspective. So we're just going to see more and more key volumes in, in use and that's where things like um, quantum random number generators and quantum technology is coming in and then we have the post-quantum crypto world coming along behind that and, and that's the next wave of items we need to be uh, focusing on and we're, we're putting some resource into.